Steve, thank you so much for coming to Cornerstone. Um, it is such a blessing to have you here. I know that hearing you share a little bit with us and our clients has truly touched them and myself as well. So I'm just so thankful for this opportunity. Um, I know that we would like to hear a little bit from you. You know, what in the world inspires you? <laughs> what inspires the, the artist Stephen um, Sawyer, if I were to ask? Um, I don't know. Well, uh, first off, uh, you have to care about other people. You have to love other people enough that you're willing to uh, make a sacrifice, a willing sacrifice. Uh, and it means art's no different than anything else. You know, if you love other people, then you can do something uh, to make a difference in their life. And it just so happens um, the talent that I've been given, which is art, um, I, I was born with talent, but I worked really hard to develop the talent, and so um, it became obvious at some point in my life that was the only thing that I could really do. I couldn't just be an artist uh, and then try to find a way to serve other people. The easiest thing was to try to find a way to do it with my art. So um, it's like I've got this one of my little trademark sayings, which is on my website. Uh, serve man by loving God, serve God by loving man. You know, I think it says it in the Bible or somewhere like that, and probably in a lot of places that, you know, if you say that you love other people and you don't serve them, then it's not really love, right? So that's probably it. Learn to love other people. Definitely. Yeah, because everybody deserves to be loved. Everybody has a voice and a life that matters. Well, I think that your message is very strong, particularly in a, a recovery-oriented way. Um, do you think that there's any of your artwork that depicts, like, recovery? I know that's a nice little segue. Leading segue, what do you think? <laughs> hmm, let me think. Uh, well, uh, Charlotte's obviously talking about my painting, Calvary. It's one of the reasons that I have been um, privileged to come and visit the Cornerstone, which is a, a wonderful facility, uh, really loving and caring people that care about the, the lives and the progress of the people that are their clients, and, which is the reason I came down here. So uh, Calvary is uh, it, another, I guess I'd like to say it's a bone breaker for what used to be considered acceptable Christian art. Uh, you know, it never really, there was, just like you, when you go to a church and you sit in the pew, you're very seldom going to hear people talk about uh, drug addiction or sexual molestation. You're not going to, you know, they don't really want to talk about the absolute worst uh, that people do to others and do to themselves. And, and uh, art has a responsibility to reflect higher truth. It has a responsibility if somebody takes it to actually be an extension to the best of my ability to express what I believe God feels about uh, people that suffer with these things. And so, um, you know, the, so many people who have gone through addiction have don't think they're worthy of love. They they don't think that they, because of the choices they've made, that they don't deserve to be loved or that God could never love somebody like them. When in fact that brokenness is what endears God to them so much, like a like a magnet, you know. And, and the Bible says there's more rejoicing in heaven for a repentant sinner than there is for the 99 that are lost. I mean. God loves the prodigal son and the prodigal daughter and adores them. And, you know, down here we only get to experience the spiritual gifts that he lavishes on us. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's a privilege to try to 
restore art to a higher place so that people are reminded of how wonderful God is and how wonderful people are. Something like that. I think I would definitely agree with everything that you've shared. <laughs> I haven't talked long <laughs> enough then. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, well, thank you so much, you know, and I know that I feel led to ask one more question. Um, do you have any history along your spiritual journey that you feel comfortable sharing with us? I uh, share anything you want to know. Do you have a more specific question? Because that one could run out the, the camera card. <laughs> Just your in, in relationship to your art, you know, how in the world did you ever get started focusing in on the Christian art, you know, with portraying uh, Jesus in the light in which you have? Um, well, I think it's a... God, it's just like somebody that in, invents something because they see that there's something missing uh, I looked at art and I looked at spiritual art and it just it just seemed so flat it seemed for this century it seemed sterile it didn't seem to honestly address who we are and what we're going through and God's relationship with the people that are going through those kinds of problems so I took a swing, you know. I said, I'll, I'll play that game. I'll get up there and swing at it. So I did. Well, I think you've definitely hit a home run. Thanks. As far as I'm concerned. Thank you so much for sharing with me today.